Hello, this video is about gas well testing. I will speak about types of gas well testing, how to design and analyze a gas test with up-to-date well test interpretation software. So, there are two types of gas tests – well deliverability and transient testing. With deliverability testing, we are interested in a few points. A single point is a pressure versus production flow rate of a single flow period. Deliverability test is aimed to predict the flow rate as a function of pressure, wellhead or downhole. With transient testing, you analyze many pressure points during a single flow rate so you can get well and reservoir description rigorously. The results of pressure transient analysis can also help you to predict flow rates more recently, deliverability and transient types of tests are combined and become an industry standard for gas testing. They as follows. With classic flow after flow, also called back pressure test, the well is produced to stabilized pressure at 3 or 4 increasing rates. The different flow periods have the same duration. The main assumption of the test is that pseudo steady state to be obtained during every drawdown. It is also a good practice to complete the flow after flow with pressure build-up period. Without pressure build-up period, this test is a waste of money for low and mid permeability reservoirs as pseudo steady state cannot be reached in a reasonable, reasonable time frame. With isochronal gas test, the well is again produced at 3 or 4 rates, but a shutdown period is introduced between each flow. The main assumption is that the build-ups last until the pressure is back to initial, which again is not feasible for low and middle permeability reservoirs. The final drawdown is necessary to extend to reach steady state. With modified isochronal gas test, the procedure is similar to isochronal, except that the intermediate shutting periods have the same duration as the drawdown periods, and the last drawdown is extended. So the main assumption of the test is only the last flow is steady state. But this test is too complex and requires a lot of logistics. Now we'll be speaking about data analysis. The transient response of gas wells is very different from that of liquid systems. First, because the fluid properties are changing with pressure, so it becomes more complex. Have a look at the plot where gas properties are function of pressure. Gas compressibility for real gas is changing with pressure significantly, together with Z, a real gas deviation factor. Gas viscosity is also changing a lot with pressure. So the solution of differential equation should be adjusted for this, but how? In general, the pressure data is converted into pseudo-pressure, which is defined by the integral. The pseudo-pressure corrects the effects of change of gas viscosity and compressibility. See the plot of pressure versus pseudo-pressure. Note that only for high-pressure wells the gas behaves like a slightly compressible fluid and the pressure data can be used directly for the analysis. For pressure below around 250 bar, it's not linear at all. Second, another difficulty of gas well test interpretation is the high velocity reached by the flow around the well bore created, creating uh, turbulence. The turbulence then generates additional skin effect greatly dependent on flow rate. Parameter D or DS over DQ is also called non-Darcy flow coefficient. Now we have a quick look at the gas well test interpretation example. Flow after flow test was run with four drawdowns and increasing step rate change. It was finished with one extended build-up. Actually, flow after flow portion of the test is different from deliverability flow after flow test, as it does not require to wait for pseudo steady state. 
We start with analysis of the data on the diagnostic plot. Log log plot. Select all four drawdowns and a final build up. Overlap, overlaps of pressure show that all four drawdowns have less normalized delta P. With the assumption that production rates are correct, we may say that skin has been increasing with the increase of flow rate. We start interpretation with final pressure buildup. The derivative on diagnostic plot shows infinite acting reservoir. We position wellbore stories and RF lines to what we think are correct places, then we create an analytical model. And improve it. Improve the model for the best fit. The pressure match for the final build-up is OK, but the, for the previous flow periods the match is not very good. And this is due to the rate time dependent skin. skin. Click on time dependent skin button. The resulting skin is very high 15 and it is constant for the full length of the test, which we know is not true. By clicking Calculate, we determine individual skin values for every flow period. To obtain true or mechanical skin factor, we have to plot the skin values versus the respective rates. Intersection of the regression line with Y axis will give us the true skin and slope will give us non-Darcy flow coefficient according to the formula. We can select only the flow periods which consistent with consistent skin factor. We then apply rate dependent skin option and try to improve the analytical model. Note that now my analytical model matches the full test history better rather than just build up period and I am satisfied with the results on the same data we can do deliverability test analysis there have been presented a few methods of interpretation of deliverability tests proposed by different authors an empirical relationship between flow rates and the stabilized flowing pressure is called CNN analysis. To solve it, you need to know PI, initial pressure. But with the use of nonlinear regression, we find the best fit of the model to match the real data. This plot, flow versus pressure, is called IPR, inflow performance relationship. Best fit matching resulted in the following model parameters like initial reservoir pressure, PI productivity, absolute open flow potential, and CNN coefficients. A more rigorous solution to construct IPR plot is lit analysis, or sometimes called A and B analysis. Before the pseudo steady state regime, the response follows the semi log approximation and can be approximated as quadratic equation. Again, we find a solution to this nonlinear equation with pressure and flow rates as, as variables. Another plot generated is called gas potential or deliverability plot. It is a plot of delta P versus flow rate. Finally, I would like to stress a few important points about gas well testing. The choice of well test design greatly depends on well reservoir data and well test engineer experience. During data interpretation, note for turbulence and mechanical skin. It is very important. And reliability, transient is better than deliverability. Well head pressure versus flow rate deliverability, deliverability is a cheap alternative. That's it for gas well test. Thank you and keep watching my videos.